Yes. <laughs> All right. Take it away, Jerry. All right. With me now, our good buddy, Peter Schrager of Fox Sports and FoxSports.com. And Pete, last night's game, after watching that, Eli played better, no interceptions. Granted, there were a couple questionable throws. After last night's game, are you thinking the NFC least? Look, they're only three games back. Do, Wait, do they have a shot? Yes, they have a shot. Look, I know they went start of the season 0-6, first starts in 76, so bad that way, but... When you've got the Eagles and maybe Matt Barkley, a rookie quarterback, yeah. starting next week. Then you got the bye. Then you got the Oakland Raiders, a team that you know the Giants can take. And the NFC East is so bad. I'm telling you, Dallas is bad. The Eagles are bad. The Redskins are not the Redskins they were last yeah. year. So this is doable. The Giants can make a run. I'm telling you, it's okay. I said at the beginning of the year, 7-9 and nine could win the division. And people laughed at me, but it happened back in 2010 uh, with Seattle. All right. The football world is upside down. You and I both thought that... One and six team oh, here in New York was going to be the Jets and the four and three team, or you know the we thought maybe the Giants might even be five and two yeah, at this point yeah. in, in the year. Why are the Giants so bad this year? Giants are so bad because the offensive line play has been so bad, and because I'm sorry to say it, Eli Manning hasn't been himself. Last night he sort of righted the ship a little bit, but there were some bad passes last yes. night too. But he is. Uh, it, there are times when he needs to take a one or two step drop to get rid of the ball because they've been so decimated up front. Injuries. I think no pass rush. Tuck and JPP have been more or less invisible this season, and obviously Eli's had his issues. But guess what? They win. That changes things. Right. Walk around that. You've been in that locker room. It was just everyone was in a funk for two months. Right. I think they'll be able to shake that, and who knows? All right. Jets are 4-3. and three. Do they make the playoffs? I think they might. I think they might. They've got a tough next two games. Cincinnati and New Orleans are good teams. They could be four and five in two weeks, and we're not even talking about them anymore. But they did beat the Patriots last good. week. All right, you've been busy writing for FoxSports.com uh, and appearing on Fox Sports 1, and you wrote a new book that actually goes on sale today. It's called Strength of a Championing, Champion, Finding Faith and Fortitude Through Adversity. Tell us about this book. Yeah, I wrote this book with O.J. Brigance. O.J. is a former player. In 2007, was working for the Baltimore Ravens, was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. He was told at the age of 37 that he probably has two or three years left to live, wouldn't make it to his 40th birthday. Uh, well, he's 44 years old, and he made it to his 40th birthday. He's now seven years into his diagnosis with ALS, and he fights every day, and it's an amazing story. He now still works with the Baltimore Ravens, comes to the facility every day, comes to every practice, and it takes him five hours to get to work every day. He can't speak. He can't walk. He can't touch. But O.J. is the lifeblood of that Baltimore Ravens organization. I know he can't speak, and you guys did write a book together. It's fascinating. You were telling me how you communicated. Yeah, there's an incredible new technology that was just developed in the last five years called Augmentative Communication Device. And I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Steve Gleason, New Orleans Saints mm -hmm. player, also has this. They use their eyeballs to communicate. So now what it is is they've got the motorized chair, and they've got a computer screen in front of them that almost serves as a keyboard. Using his eyeballs almost as lasers, O.J. can type out letter by letter, word by word, sentence by sentence. It's incredible stuff. So we did this book. We sat in person and had these conversations. He's got a robotic voice that he can type things in and they speak it. But he also can email. So send him these questions and I would get back these 3,000 word emails that were elo eloquent, they were wonderful, and he wrote them all with his eyes. It's really a great story and Giants fans remember he played against the Giants, had the first tackle in Super Bowl 35 Giants Ravens and uh, 12 years he played professional football, had to really prove himself three or four years in the Canadian football. If you league. need any perspective right. on life, if you're having issues with the, the transit to work or commute and you're bothered, read this book, it'll put it in perspective, he'll inspire you. Strength of a champion. Finding Faith and Fortitude Through Adversity by our good buddy Peter Schrager. Pete, congratulations. The so book much. is on sale today.